Hey, Dave here. Starting just a few years ago, three FLIR videos came out of Arizona that showed some pretty strange stuff. In 2019, a video called The Rubber Duck was recorded. In 2020, a video called La Bruja was taped. In 2021, a video called The A-10 Warthog was captured. Now, all three videos were taken in Arizona, somewhere around the southern border. So these videos were released from an unnamed source through a contact named Andy. Andy has a web page on YouTube called NYUAP Discussion. You should check out that web page to see the videos in their entirety. They're pretty cool. I've talked to both Andy and the original source, and I've come to the conclusion that these objects are UAPs, or Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. Quite interesting ones at that. Let's start off with the A-10 Warthog. Then we can discuss La Bruja, and then we can conclude by addressing the rubber duck. Okay, for a quick background of myself and why I'm commenting on these videos, I'm a depot level FLIR technician with factory training from several different manufacturers. I've been in this line of work since 2006. For security reasons, I keep who I work for and the specific type of equipment I work on to myself. From the symbology, we see that the objects are black hot, viewed with a high-def infrared camera. The turret is slowly moving and tracking the objects. The field of view is narrow, meaning it's been magnified twice from the wide field of view. The A-10 and La Bruja were both filmed from a FLIR that was ground-based looking up at the sky. It was most likely mounted on some type of telescoping pole. Okay, and for reference, warthog speeds, your maximum speed looks like it's about 380 knots or 439 miles per hour. Your cruise speed is 300 knots, which is about 340 miles an hour. Your stall speed is 120 knots or about 138 miles an hour. So if the warthog is just, let's say it's cruising, it's doing about 350 miles an hour. It's pretty fast. A bird isn't going to keep up with that. Well, there's one of three things going on here. Either the object can be behind the A-10, thus moving faster, about the same place, and moving about the same rate of speed, or the object could be in the foreground, moving much slower in relation to the A-10. So what about the possibility that this is just a bird that we've seen, that we're looking at the A-10 in a narrow field of view, but in the foreground, a bird just happened to get included in the video. From my experience, birds are quite easy to identify. You can tell if they're in the foreground or the background. The easiest way to identify them is by their movement and shape. If they're in flight, you'll see the flapping of wings. The thermal signature of birds is typically quite less intense as that of aircraft. For example, let's take a look at these people on a hike. This is at a medium field of view, black hot. This is a wide field of view. Notice the terrain in the cold sky. Imagine a bird flying across the sky at about halfway up the screen. Now back to medium. The view is magnified and the viewing area is much more limited. The same bird seen in this field of view would appear faster and slightly out of focus. Now to the narrow field of view. Notice that the operator needs to focus. The same bird would appear even faster across the screen and more out of focus. 
It might be even mistaken for a bug at this point. The same concept applies towards the A-10 and the theory a bird or a drone was inadvertently captured with it. Assuming there was a bird that just happened to be in the line of sight. The notion that it would maintain the relative speed and position to appear that it was following the aircraft, but it actually wasn't, it would be near impossible. I never ever see that. And I view birds and planes in flight from the ground daily. Let's start by comparing this video to a similar video that shows a person traversing across a similar terrain. As you can see by the WH, the scene is white hot, the person is white, and the person appears to be walking. This is totally normal and to be expected. Notice the difference in the heat signature, the shape, the movement, and the relation of the person to the ground. The La Bruja object was well off the deck. To begin with, the scene is black hot. Since the object of interest is white, this means the opposite, meaning that it's cold, very cold. Judging by the intensity of the white, it might be close to ice cold. The dark black objects right here are cattle. You can see them walking around. All these objects on the top are saguaro cacti. These tall plants can get to be about 40 feet tall. My takeaway on this video is that the object is near ice cold, it's about man size, and it moves similar to that of a drone, and it seems to be about 50 feet off the ground. One theory on La Bruja is that it's just some kind of drug running drone, that somebody's attached a apparatus to it to cool it and try to fool a thermal imager. It's got to be a possibility, right? I mean, people are altering drones to do all sorts of crazy stuff lately. I can totally understand this line of thinking because I've also done a lot of experimentation with drones myself.
There's a few reasons why we don't believe it's a drone. For one, it's a highly unusual shape. It's almost humanoid looking and then as it rotates, it kind of changes forms. Second is the total lack of heat in its thermal signature. It might be plausible if there was heat visible at the top of the object, but all we see is a cold object at a uniform temperature. The obvious question would be, why would somebody make a drug running drone like this? It's just as easy to spot, if not easier, than a drone that was just not disguised to begin with. From what I've heard on social media, there's only one theory on what these objects might be. Balloons. Cold balloons, because these objects are white in a black hot scene, just like La Bruja. Let's explore this possibility. Why are balloons an unlikely explanation? For one, your standard party balloons are made out of latex. Uh, latex is see-through or semi-transparent to medium wave infrared. Mylar balloons act as floating mirrors and would not show the uniform thermal signature that you see in the rubber duck video. I assure you in the 40 plus minutes of this video you would see other gradients of heat reflect off of the Mylar balloon, uh, even if it's very cold. The reflective material overrides the cold temperature. Even ice cold, latex balloons would not retain a totally cold thermal signature. Let's take a look at the mylars. I've been told that there have been more sightings in southern Arizona, and these videos are just a sample. Makes you wonder what's going on down there. Well guys, thanks for checking out my video. Remember to check out Andy's YouTube channel. I left the link in the description below, and we'll see you on the next one.